Wrapping up here at Old Trafford after Manchester United have won by two goals to nil against an average, awful, crap Spurs team. But let's talk about us. Um, how good was we today, bro? I, I just want to point out to Faz that Fred was very good. <laughs> He's oh, not having it. He just don't like him. Hey, it's, 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 hey Fred was very good. Hey, you just got to give credit. I don't like Bruno Fernandes. He's not my cup of tea, but he played very good today. Yeah. There's a reason why his, well, his, his goal output and his obviously his assist output is dropping is because he's refining his game a little bit. Mm. You can see it. As the number eight, he's better than a 10. So everyone played well. No one's getting criticised. It's just that, were we that good or were Spurs that bad? Mm. But... Spurs always come to Old Trafford and we slap them every week. What? This ain't no, this ain't new, no new news. We mm. do this every time. Mm. It's fine. And it was two 0 I said actually Fred was gonna score. And I said two. Did you what when you saw the starting? I, 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 no, 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 no. Yeah. I was the one. I said I don't mind this lineup because yeah. I don't know why Fred got criticised last week. I didn't think he put in a bad chip. That's last week to be fair. It's just because he missed an open goal. It's not mm. like yeah, first half he got rinsed a little bit, but did not all the players? Is that the thing? Is that the thing with Fred that like? And it's, it's a bit of like a, a catch-22 because it's like you see him do things like that today and you see that on his day he can be infectious on other players and kind of set a tone. He's really good at doing that. But then yeah. other days you see like you might get caught on the ball and then the confidence kind of goes. And But Ten Hag seems to quite like him. Yeah, but it don't mean... Just because he had a good performance today it doesn't mean that I want him here next season because exactly. I don't. See Luke Shaw, Fred, mm. all of them guys, not to be negative or anything, but we need to move them on. Get them, have good performances, get some money out of them and move them on. Because we're going to see the same stuff over and over and over again. But I could be proved wrong at the end of the day. I don't want to be negative. Today's a positive day. Yeah. We slapped Spurs 2-0 e easily. Casemiro, just because he's taking my name in Cass. Mm -hmm. It is where it is performance. Like, I, I don't know who to actually give man the match to. The fella from the favela in Anthony. He's starting to, he's <laughs> start, he's starting to really like take a couple of souls in it and, mm. and express himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really expressing mm. himself. Sancho got a bit of... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He had a bad one, he had a bad one, yeah. he had a bad one. Nah, he nah, bad nah, one. he done all right second half. Um, I, don't, I don't want to, I don't want, he's, he's yeah. young, man. Yeah, listen, it's he's not throwing him under bed. Look, we're only talking about, we, this This here is not talking about United on a hot. This is only just, we, we've come out of the game, we're talking about 90 minutes. That's all. I yeah, That's the all. 90 minutes that we dominated. Yeah, yeah, from yeah, yeah exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It was <laughs> like, I'll, I'll come over to you. Um, it was a big win for us, isn't it? Especially yeah. not winning against Newcastle. Um, and, and managing to get the three points here, going into Chelsea, is that raising our confidence now? I think today was one of the most relaxing time I've ever seen watch us play, bro. Yeah. Like, all the players with we, such link up was so good. Bruno, Bruno was so good today. Fred, Fred, he's still, he's, he's still a bit of shit, innit? Because he, 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 played, he played good today, but he's still shit, because I can't, I, I can't forgive him what he's done against Newcastle. Yeah. What the fuck was that, bro? Yeah. But he's, but no, but he's bounced back and he's put in... Mm. You know, well, you know man the match. what Tenak has done is yeah. improved us so much. You know, you can see last season we were not like this. I've not seen a performance like this last season. Mm. Mm. This season we were so good. Like it's like a different night. We're back, mm. bro. He's like, starting. He's starting yeah. to build us, isn't he? Even our defense is so good as well. Like Martinez. Oh man, he's such a warrior. Like even Tenak said, he's a warrior, bro. Mm. Mm. Um, how how are you seeing it in terms of Casemiro? Because he played well today. He's starting to get his position. and Starting to find his feet. He is, he is, you know, it's, it's, it's taking him a little more, a little longer than maybe we expected for a player of his pedigree, perhaps. But now he's starting to really get into, you know, find his feet, get find, get his form. Mm. It's, you know, it's looking up for him. He's, he's really looking to be that anchor that we've been missing for so, so, so long, mm. you know. It was, it was what he was doing, in fact, deeper down that enabled Fred and Bruno to have man of the match performances. Bruno was my man of the match, mm -hmm. but from everyone I've talked to here on the grounds today, it's a 50-50. It yeah. could be either one. And of them. these are these are these are good things to have. Um, I know you've come all the way from from California to be here today. Yeah, so yeah. I'm glad you I'm glad oh, yeah. you got the win. Yeah, glad you, got, you want to come every week and bring that uh, kind of I luck. Love to, I love yeah. to. I love to. Yeah, um, definitely. But he's speaking about Casemiro there finding his way, and, and it's important that we've done that. Is is that what Ten Hag's starting to do here? Starting to, you know, the, like his signings, Ten Hag's signings are looking like they're really making an impact on us. I would say it's more than just the signings. Like even if you watch today, it was the energy. You could feel it. And I know you talk about it all the time, like they, that should be mandatory. It should come with it. But you could feel it in the stadium today. You could feel the energy. And shout out Redemption Fred. Redemption Fred. <laughs> Is that what it was? Fred's a Redemption? It's a Redemption for sure. <laughs> because uh, I was here for the Newcastle game as well. And it, it was a rough one. Yeah. It, was a, it was a real, real rough one. But for him to just stay strong and come out as he did and not let it get to him and give the performance he gave the day, shout out to him. Mm. Shout out to him. For sure, my man in the match. Up front, Marcus Rashford had a lot of chances. Um, 
you can say he should have scored, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. he's looking just a lot more threatening on a consistent basis. You know, he comes off, yeah. comes on the pitch late against Newcastle. He, he sets Fred up and has a, a chance for himself. Oh, yeah. He's just always there now. Like before, like last season, it's shell of himself, didn't want it, confidence down. Ten Hag seemed to have got him going now. Yeah, I, I would say with Rashford, a lot of it's going to be confidence. Mm. It's confidence. When, when the team's behind him, when the stadium's behind him, performs. When he's a little down, when he's down on himself, he's kind of in and out of games. It's not really his thing. And then I, don't, I know he's a lot better coming off the wing a lot better but I feel like he can mold into that nine he'll never be that hold up number nah. nine he'll never be that hold up number nine I feel like it's not fair to judge him on that let him play through the, the channels push him through the channels use his speed that's as what one, Ten Hag's doing isn't as, it it's which yeah. is the best thing you could do you can't coach speed you can't coach speed if you have that pace and the defender doesn't have the pace you'll always beat him you'll mm -hmm. always beat him to the ball and, and whether you get a penalty or whether he kicks you wherever or you get the space to put it in the net you use that speed. And I feel like that's what Tin Hawk's focusing now. It's like, don't come check to the ball. Set yourself up to run through the channel. Mm. And once you get the ball through the channel, make something happen. Pick your head up. Whether you put it back in the box or you get a shot off, anything. But you just make it an attacking force forward. You mm. know? Really great points. I think that's exactly how Rash was playing as well. Um, on us now, form-wise, yes. we're seeing like we can go from playing well, might not get the result, but then, then we might lose, then we might win a few. Can this be the catalyst now to, to maybe go on a little run and, and start building some confidence? Or is that just the nature of this season with a new manager and a new way of playing that we're going to just get a little bit of inconsistency where we're not quite sure what we're going to get, but there's positivity there? Yeah, I think it's going to be peaks and troughs, to be honest. I think with any new manager, especially with someone like Eric Ten who's got a very distinct style and system in the manner in which he wants to conduct his players, um, it's going to take time. I mean, you've seen with the last couple of games in particular, I know Newcastle was extremely disappointing, but even then, you've seen the patterns of players starting to emerge. And I can't remember who said it uh, early on, but a lot of our goals have been more team goals. Um, obviously, even today as well, I know we're a bit fortunate with the Fred goal, but if you actually look at the build-up for that goal, you're seeing more progressive play in general. Obviously, someone mentioned it earlier as well with the Fred thing for me the fact that he's playing in the eight today and fair play to the guy he was fantastic a lot of that is down to Casemiro you know Casemiro in in the pocket as as the lone six is allowing Ten Hag to obviously push them players further up and we're starting to see what Ten Hag is trying to do with his team of course we're going to have bad days Newcastle is inevitable but for me personally and it still wasn't that bad no, it exactly. wasn't, yeah, it, it, it was wasn't. just one of the things for me the honest truth is I think in two thirds we're playing fantastic Defensively, it has gone somewhat under the radar, but yes. we've been absolutely sensational. I mean, I think people forget how poor we were defensively last season. Mm. We were so easy to play against, so we, open. As we well, were yeah. literally conceding three goals a game, and no, no one was biting an eyelid. As a fan, you're basically expecting us to concede. And the fact that Varan Martinez and Casemiro is now our base, we can actually build on that. And I think there's two, the, the two thirds of the pitch were fantastic in transition. I think it's definitely improving, but the final third is where it hasn't clicked for me today. You saw a game. Uh, Rashford in particular you mentioned him I've got him on FPL he's kind of pissed me off I'm not going to lie um, <laughs> he's missing a shot <laughs> recently he's that Newcastle game yeah. I can't believe he didn't score that one yeah. and today yeah. he should have had a hat trick but sometimes you've got to give credit to the goalkeeper they didn't want him to score so you're saying you had you got Rashford in your fantasy team and he's, he's done your yeah, to be fair, Rash, I, I don't know if you saw what Henri said about him today no, after the game. So basically, uh, I think him and Ever were doing a piece uh, of a primer where there was no promotion, obviously. Yeah. But um, so basically, Henri is criticising Rashford's finishing. He's basically saying, why is he not passing it to the net? Like he's opened the goal up, just pass it to that. You don't it, yeah. need to. You don't need to put your laces through it. And it ain't bad coming from Henri, is it? Really? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But at the end of the day, he just needs to show that bit of composure. Like uh, the previous lad said, he's getting in the positions, which is what you want from him. Mm. Uh, and it's gonna come, man. Like he's he's looking a lot more threatening. He's looking a lot more confident. Um, and you gotta just take the positive. The last thing I wanna say is the the biggest improvement in today's game that I saw personally, beside the pattern of players, was the press. Um, the amount of times we forced them into errors, I know they were woeful because they are a poor team, but in general, we were causing them so many issues with our press. And it wasn't a press like Liverpool or other teams, it was very much an organised press, and it seemed like it was very much instrumented by Bruno Fernandes, who was the conductor of the press. Obviously, he was initiating it with obviously his instruction and whatnot. And I thought that was a, a very good sign of things to come to. Mm. Guys, they've everyone said their, their, their fair dues here at Old Trafford as we wrap up here after beating Spurs by two goals nil. Let us know what you guys they do. Get back everywhere they go. <laughs> so, no, we get back to it. Everywhere they go. Everywhere they go. <laughs>